Hello everyone, Dr. Naveen here. In this video, you will learn about the development of inferior vena cava. Before going into the details, let me also give you a general knowledge about how the venous system in the body develops. So, from embryological perspective, I will give you the basics about the venous system. At about 5th week of embryonic development, there are 3 pairs, this is very important, there are 3 pairs of the major veins are formed in the embryo. They are, one is cardinal vein, second one is vitelline vein, and third very important one is umbilical vein. So these are three pairs of veins. The veins here in the image are depicted in blue color as you can see. We have a cardinal vein which is anterior and also another one which is posterior. Both unite and form a common cardinal vein which drains into the sinus venosus. Similarly, we have an umbilical vein here and also the vital line vein which is coming from the yolk sac. Let me briskly give you the functions of these three major veins. What is the function of a cardinal vein? As you can see, the cardinal vein drains the blood from whole of the body into the heart. It's kind of, it carries a deoxygenated blood stuff. And what about vital line vein? Vital line vein as you can see here, it carries blood from the yolk sac. And what about the main important one, the umbilical vein? You can say umbilical vein is going into the placenta. So the umbilical vein, it originates in the chorionic villi and it carries oxygenated blood to the embryo. So the main function is oxygenated blood carrying by the umbilical vein. So these are the three major pairs of veins that form in the body at the earliest, that is in the fifth week. Among these, what you need to remember is a mix-up, a combination of veins, that is anterior cardinal vein, posterior cardinal vein. After that, there are many veins which form, okay, there are many sub-veins in uh, relation to the cardinal vein. I'll show you the image. So, you can see sub-cardinal vein supracardinal vein, sacrocardinal vein, they all form, they get anastomosed with each other and some of the veins they disintegrate and some of the veins they remain and in turn they form inferior vena cava which we will be discussing in detail. But here, what is the fate of the vitellin vein and also the umbilical vein? I told you these major veins are in pairs, right? So, when I say vitelline vein, we have right and left. Similarly, when I talk about umbilical vein, similarly we have right and left. One thing what you need to remember is, one of the vein disappears. When it comes to the vitelline vein, left vitelline vein disappears. When it comes to the umbilical vein, right umbilical vein disappears. So what I am trying to tell you, the left vitelline vein disappears, the right umbilical vein disappears. So what is the fate of this right vitelline vein? Here is the key point. If you understand this, understanding the developmental aspects of IVC becomes easy for you. When I say right vitelline vein, it enlarges. Left vitelline vein disappears, the right vitelline vein enlarges and this forms, very important one, this forms right hepatocardiac channel. Hope you are getting my point. So we started our discussion by saying that when I talk about venous system of a human being, there are three major pairs of veins, out of which when I talk about the vitaline vein, the left vitaline vein disappears, but the right one 
enlarges as you can see this is the right vital end vein which remains it enlarges and as i as we all know the yolk sac is the area wherein we have the development of the major abdominal organs and when i say abdominal organ what is the biggest uh, organ in the abdomen uh, in relation to the size it is liver so this hepato hepato cardiac connection between the cardiac channel and hepatic channel so this enlargement of the right vital end vein causes right hepato cardiac channel and this right hepato cardiac channel forms the hepato cardiac portion of ivc so there are three major segments of there are three major segments of inferior vena cava out of the three major segments one segment is hepato cardiac segment or hepatic segment number 2 segment is sacro cardinal segment and number 3 segment is renal segment see this reference is from langmans embryology latest edition in different books uh, in different embryology books some of the books they say they have six segments of ivc but because i take reference from langmans embryology i am only saying that there are three major segments for inferior vena cava among these three major segments the hepato cardiac segment of ivc develops from the enlarged right vital end vein that is the right hepato cardiac channel gives rise to the hepato cardiac segment of ivc this is one thing this is one take home let me also tell you how this sacro cardinal segment arises so this sacro cardinal segment of ivc comes from the right sacro cardinal vein i have shown you the fate of the not fate exactly the sub branches are the sub sections of the cardinal vein we have an anterior and posterior cardinal vein which are the major veins but we also have sub cardinal vein we also have a supra cardinal vein and we also have a sacro cardinal vein which are the branches of this cardinal veins among the branches of the cardinal vein the sacro cardinal vein that two right sacro cardinal vein gives rise to why i am saying right every time you take right hepato cardiac channel you take right vital end vein you take right sacro cardinal vein we all know superior vena cava and ivc are in the body in the body and the anatomy of the body they are located to the right side so i think it is easy for you to remember this so this right sacro cardinal vein gives rise to the sacro cardinal segment of ivc simple next what about the renal segment renal segment comes from the right subcardinal vein right subcardinal vein it's as simple as that if you can remember this much it's well and good we'll start with the renal segment of ivc followed by what do we have we have we also have the sacro cardinal segment and on the top what we have above the kidney we have hepato cardiac segment so this hepato cardiac segment comes from the right hepato cardiac uh, what we call the right hepato cardiac channel which comes from the right vital end vein the renal segment comes from the right subcardinal vein and the sacro cardinal segment comes from the right sacro cardinal vein simple remember these points it's more than enough now let's go into the details okay let's go into the details whatever i have just explained you i have given it here we have a hepatic segment which comes from right hepatocardiac renal segment from right subcardinal sacro cardinal segment which comes from right sacro cardinal vein see this is the renal segment of ivc this is the hepatic segment of the ivc and we have a sacro cardinal segment which is a union of the right and left common iliac veins so there was a question in 2019 medical sciences optional exam for upsc they have asked for about 3 marks enumerate the developmental components of the inferior vena cava the same thing i am showing it here we have posterior cardinal veins right so from the posterior cardinal veins we have branches so what is this green one this green one is a supra cardinal vein similarly what is this 
the brown or gray one this is a subcardinal vein so supracardinal and subcardinal have an anastomosis similarly both the subcardinal veins have an anastomosis similarly we have a hepatic cardiac channel which forms from the right vital end vein and uh, subcardinal hepatocardiac anastomosis is al also present similarly there is a transverse anastomosis of the posterior cardinal veins so this posterior remnant segment is also called a sacrocardinal segment and when you take all these components together the ivc forms from the hepatocardiac channel the subcardinal hepatocardiac anastomosis the subcardinal vein bilateral anastomosis supracardinal subcardinal vein anastomosis supracardinal vein and also the sacrocardinal segment all this together the, these segments are together known as sacrocardinal segments to avoid confusion to make it so simple instead of giving these many segments i have just told you that there are three segments which develop from three important veins so that it is easy for you to remember rather than this the complicated diagram which i have just shown you so better to follow this three segment development of ivc for the sake of easy and better understanding so after understanding what we call uh, the development of ivc let us quickly jump into the anomalies of ivc okay there are two kinds of anomalies you need to understand one is double ivc okay there are two inferior vena cava in the body as shown in here okay it when does this double inferior vena cava occurs it occurs whenever there is failure of just make a note of it failure of connection between the left sacro cardinal vein with left sub cardinal vein okay so failure of connection between the left sacro cardinal vein with left sub cardinal vein leads to double ivc so we have a persistent left and also the sacro cardinal segment what about other anomaly that is absent inferior vena cava it is the complete absence so when do you see the absence of ivc so this condition arises when the right subcardinal vein so the right subcardinal vein see by this time you know what is a supracardial what is a subcardial what is a sacrocardial vein right so whenever there is failure of right subcardinal vein to make connection with to make connection with liver so when there is no connection with liver so instead of making a connection if the right subcardinal vein directly sends its blood into the right supracardinal vein then there is no need for formation of ivc so that is absent ivc so that condition is depicted in this image so these are the anomalies of IVC.